from Junk Monkey Paint Company coming to you live tonight. Did you think we forgot about you? Heck no, right? It's day nine of the Paint a Piece of Furniture a Day challenge using our brand new line of all natural milk paint. You guys have had questions about the difference between milk paint and our chalky style paint, the original recipe. And so we are painting over 20 different surfaces over 20 days using a combination of 20 of our different colors, right? We love to give new life to old things. So thank you for joining us and being here for another fun evening. So meet my lovely fine for tonight, okay? A door, a darling, a darling little rocking chair, which I found at a thrift shop, okay? For all of $15, perfectly in my wheelhouse for like where I like to shop for my price point. And you know what? It's brownie frowny. Come over, take a look. You know, when I talk to you guys about doing natural distress stressing, take a look at a piece that's authentically, like, it just is distressed as is, okay? Like, do you see right here? This is a natural place to put distressing because this is where it naturally happens, right? So just, you know, it does uh, pay off to kind of just pay attention to where you start to see distressing because as you're learning to do it yourself and to make your piece look professional and authentic and as best as possible to replicate old-timey furniture, there you go. All right, so I'm going to get started tonight. I've got two colors I'm going to mix together. I'll have Matt show them to you up close and personal in just a second. But we are going to do a combination because I'm seeing this piece and maybe look at a bit of a aqua kind of color, okay? So I'm going to use a color that we have. It's called, what's it called? Sea glass. Sea glass and also our thick cream, okay, which is a really nice off-white. We're going to combine them. I'll show you what it looks like. Sound good? Let's get started. What are you over there with a smile on your face for? Oh, no. Is your friends here? They are. Really? Say hello. Tell me who's here. I'm going to go the whole way back. <laughs> Linda, roll, Linda, roll up, Linda, roll Linda, roll Linda, Linda, of course, was first one. Hey, on Linda. Tonight. Cammie Hart, Soul says she's catching us hey, from the Cammie. beginning. Diane Stein's here. Lisa, Lisa Joel from Montreal. Kathy uh, Stinner Strohecker is here. Angela Klaus! Klaus <laughs> in the house. I'm sorry. That's, that's an inside joke for me. Um... <laughs> Uh, Margie's here, Nikki uh, Tut's here, Jeanette Patton, Carol Ann says, hello Sonia Matt. Linda hello. said, Linda said, figured Matt Matt was taking a much needed nap. No, not yet. <laughs> we've been burning the midnight yeah, we, oil. we've been working hard. Thank you. So, Lori Clapper's checking in, April Dixon, Patty Price, uh, Carmen Aguil Aguilera, uh, Tennille, full Let's see summer. where we get with this. Yeah. Do you want to come over? Okay. Well, you're talking. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going through this. So I've gone like what four of the monkey spoons. Okay, four of the. I, I've been calling these tablespoons, but I actually wiped off the back of the monkey today, and it says it's half tablespoons. Okay, just to let you know. So four of these monkeys, half tablespoons, and then I put in one of the sea glass. All right, we're gonna see where that gets us. Now we're just gonna match it up with water, see the color shade, and we can adjust as necessary. Right. Okay. Continue on. At least I want to know if the Canadian site was up yet. That's what we were working on yeah, behind that's why the we're scenes. Late because we were. Uh... Let me just say, let you know, it, it's almost there, but it's one of those things that you just have to make sure is in place before you launch it. When you think you're ready. Yeah, yeah. I was actually holding off because I thought tonight was the night. And then, of course, last minute as we're doing trial runs, we're like, ah, oh, darn it, we got to make just a few more tweaks, okay? So bear with us. I feel tomorrow could be the day. I'm praying right. tomorrow is the day. Right. Yep. Right. But it's gonna be, it's about to happen. We're we're like on the cusp. We're right there, right? The cusp. The cusp. All right. Cusp. Yes. Oh, look at this pretty color right here. I love it. Now Am remember. I freak out and turn the camera around again. Oh. I might. Well, I don't know. You never know what you're gonna get when you, you hang out here with us, that, right? Yeah. yeah we're know. just full of surprises like that. Yeah. We're just happy mad, we're especially. Not underwater. Mad especially. Mad <laughs> especially. Guys, look how nice and creamy this is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm a lash. I'm a lord, I'm a gosh, I'm a lash. Okay. Love it. Look at that pretty color, Thank right? Thank you, Kaleo. By the way, I, I just added these awesome little whisk. I was going to call them a spatula, and I know Matt would be like, no, it's a whisk, right? Chef Matt says it's a whisk. So uh, they're perfect, though, right? Because they're the great, the perfect size for, like, if you just want to mix up. You know in the beginning where I just showed you how I was just mixing up literally just, like, a tablespoon or two with a little bit of water? You know what I mean? You kind of want to mix it up on a plate, but they're also perfect for getting into like a mason jar or something like this. And what it does is, while yes, you can shake, of course, your milk paint with water and the pigments and do that together, but it'll be less frothy and much more creamy if you do use a whisk, okay? So as it sits, it's gonna to continue to thicken up. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, maybe make it a little bit more runny. That's what's yeah. fun. You get to control it. So Damon just popped on here. Damon! 
Yeah. He said, I heard there's a lot of, uh, a ton of junk moldy on the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> he meant to say junk moldy. The monkey. The monkey the is, monkey the is coming so, uh, to Damon's house. Yes. 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 So we can't, can't wait to see what Damon yeah. and Kathy and, and the Parker. IT guy, yes, and has to, ends up doing with this. Over at Deco Exchange. Heck yeah. Yes. Yep, we're going to see what they do, right? We're going to be watching. We're going to go on their lives when they... When they. So it, hopefully Damon's going to learn some tips tonight. It matches your nails. What does? The uh, paint color. Is oh, that, yeah, you know what? Oh, wait, you did paint your nails. I did, but you know what? <laughs> they need to be repainted. But let's be honest here. My my nails are actually... You were laughing at this the other day. I'm like, there you go. I painted my nails, and the color is Volcanic Ash. It's a gray color. So I just yeah, thought I it was would, a funny I name, right? gather as much, yes. Who comes up with the names for the um, nail polish? This is actually a really cool... Can you see that? Like, it's a nice aqua kind of color, like a really misty kind of aqua. And I'm liking it, right? So I wanted something that was a little bit more maybe pastel versus going with um, a darker color because this is a kid's rocking chair. And so I want to make it a little bit more softer, knowing the person who's going to be using it, right? So these whiskeys over and over again, of course, because they're metal, by the way, they're just two bucks if you want to go grab one at jumpmonkeypaint.com. But I'm going to throw mine in there. All right, now I'm going to grab Great my brush. For omelets, too. Yes, they are. <laughs> just maybe not cross contaminate, right? Hey, although it's all natural, but I mean, you know, I guess you just got to do. Too funny. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this rocking chair. Do you want to show them the two colors that I mixed to get the aqua color over Which there? One was it? So they sea can see what they are at full force. Yeah. Okay, sea glass. This is the two colors. And then the thick cream will polish. Yes, yeah, so you can mix the uh, chalk paint as well if you'd like to get a color. Yeah, you can totally. We've done that. that. We've done custom pieces that way. So, anyways. Um, so. This Melody's one. checking in. Karen says she loves the color. Yay! That's the cool thing. You can do whatever you want, right? Like, show the table that we did last night for those uh, that weren't with us. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the bright light. Well, then don't look into the light. Well, I'm not. I'm no. I'm trying to keep them from blinding them. Oh, okay. So don't that look is. Into the light. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Let's see if anybody knows who what's that's from. Mm, anybody yeah. who saw this particular movie back in what, like what, early 2000s? Oh, 90s. Was it? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. How much you want to bet? I don't think it was. I, I think, think it, it was. was right around 2000. Riley wasn't. Riley wasn't was born yet. I think it was. Really? It's that old? Okay. All right. Yes, we sell the powder paint. That is our milk. Yeah. Milk paint. Bring um, it home. Bring it home. I'm bringing it home. Bring it home. So, um, Are yes. you using extra bond tonight? People no, want to know. because I'm going to go for some chippy goodness, right? I'm going to, I'm, I'm just kind of, the cool thing with milk paint is that you never know what it's going to do, right? Totally unpredictable. And I'm okay because I've got this brownie frowny chair and this is when I like brownie frowny. When I get to paint over it, I get to do some distressing or uh, chippiness happens and I get to see little peaks of it coming through, all right? So I'm going to turn over, if you're painting a chair, which they got, God help us all. They got, there was parents that had to watch the movie probably 500 times. Yes. It was a bug's life, you're right. Um, if you wanted the <laughs> robin's egg blue, I would do the ocean blue with an iceberg white. Yep. Oh, that'd be pretty. Or cool. well we should do blue. something in a robin's egg blue. I think that'd be a really pretty color to do. So, Damon awesome. said it was 1998. Was it? Yeah, I told no you. Way. Yes, I told you. Nobody listens to me. Well, you listen. You're my husband. If you tell me, I'm going to be like, no. Uh, yeah, man, the story of my life. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, anybody else that, you know, you're okay with watching movies that, um, the newer, like, what was the one cartoony that, movies, What was like the Shrek one that you stuff? watched over and over again and I could repeat every, oh, uh, Cats and Dogs. Total Annihilation. Total, total Annihilation. Yes, Total Annihilation. Yes. Uh, that was a good Cats movie. and Dogs. What was some of the other ones? Monsters Incorporated. Uh, that was a good movie. Oh, uh, I could watch Who that. Toy that, Story. Right? Toy oh, Story 2. Oh, you could you not like Monsters Incorporated? Uh, I like Monsters, Monsters Inc? Incorporated. Okay, I was um, going to say. What else? Was, you know what Sully, movie he man, did not Sully. like? What? Mulan. Um, Mulan. No, no. What? The uh, Grinch that Stole Christmas, the live action one. Yeah, he also didn't like James and Giant Peach. Either. No, he didn't like James and Giant Peach either. Yeah. Which I thought he'd be into. I mean, that was a book that, you know... My generation read in right. like fourth or fifth grade, you know, the Royal Dow ones. But anyways. Woo! I almost painted myself. But, uh, shark Tales. Shark Tales. <laughs> yeah. Shark Tales. I'm trying to I'm remember what's Shark what, Tales. Which one was that, right? But who wants to talk about Sharknado? He no, like, oh, don't movie, even go. Right? Let's not bring that up. <laughs> what? Shark there's Tales? one thing. There's one thing about low budget Listen, movies. Don't judge me. Last night I went home and watched 
snakes, snakes on, on a plane. plane. Yeah, but snakes on a plane was a little bit different. So, okay. actually, uh, my, my best friend was uh, did all the practical effects and snakes. Is on, that what we call them? Practical effects? Practical effects, yeah. The fake snakes? The fake, the, yeah, not the CGI snakes, the ru the rubber ones people were wrestled around with, Funny. and like the snake bites and the swollen Listen, stuff. So he did that. So. I love. I'm scared to death of snakes. Jackie but said, I a "Bug's life is on." Love. No way. I have to come watch that. I yeah. I don't like snakes, but I like snake movies. Like I can totally Anaconda, get into yeah. Anaconda. Okay, I th I've seen every Anaconda movie there is. All right, let's yeah. be honest. By the way, quick tip before I turn this back over. When I do the bottom of a rocker, yes, I actually do the bottom parts because you know that's going to get rubbed off. Of course, that's what's on the floor. But you know when you rock up and down, right? If you're watching the chair, you see that back end right here come up. So I do like to add some color, okay? Because I know you guys will ask me, what parts do you paint? What parts do you not paint? That's pretty much my rule of thumb when I do the bottom right here. Yeah, I don't have an issue with, with low-budget bad movies. I actually enjoy them. They're actually my favorite type of movie. Couldn't be married to me if you did. Have but, you? no, but I mean, Sharknado... Sharknado I'm was dry this real fast. an actual big budget CGI network movie with a lot of washed up stars yeah. that just kind of made fun of the genre. It was. It was one of those movies that you had to watch just to watch so that you knew what everybody else was talking about, right? Yeah. yeah and Andrea said thing. her least favorite movie was Chicken Run. Chicken I actually, Run. I like that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, that? That's, that's that a few was years the, ago, too. Uh, Wallace and I do believe. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. What did you guys think of Shrek? Did you like the Shrek, all the different Shrek ones? I like Donkey. Shrek. Donkey? Yeah. Donkey. I yeah. like the one with John Lithgow in it, the one where he played uh, the king. No, oh, the king. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the yeah. gingerbread man? Yeah. No, that was the Muffin gingerbread man. man. Yeah. The muffin man? Do you know the, the muffin man? Oh, my gosh. The gods must be crazy. <laughs> The movie The Gods Must Be Crazy, I think, came out in 1984. It was about the Bushmen who speak through clicks and whistles. What? Yeah, it was a really good movie. It was about a Coke bottle or somebody. Um, clicks and whistles? Like, yeah. seriously, hey, you're supposed to know what the movie's about. Well, no, 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 no. That's just the their language, right? Okay. So, um, this doesn't make sense to me. Well, the thing of it is, is uh, there was a plane, their primitive tribe, and somebody threw a Coke bottle out of the plane. Yeah. It was flying around, okay. and they got it, and they fought over the Coke bottle. So and they come around the front. because people wanted to use it as a tool, yeah, because they never saw glass before. So what they did is uh, one of them went on a quest to return it because it was causing problems hmm. in this village. So can't say I ever saw that one. Did yeah. not. Did not. Yeah. So. But I will watch kids movies because you know what the ones that are made now, right. you know, they have like you know. The, well, good, the good jokes yeah. that kids wouldn't get anyhow, but it's just good. You get into them as an adult. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was the one? Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more water. What was the one that was pretty risque? I mean, it was basically a kids Hunter S. Thompson movie. What? Uh, Rango? Johnny Depp is a oh, lizard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, kind right. Of, that one was risque. Yeah, what kind Scandalous. of brush you were using? This is my favorite new brush that I have stumbled upon I am totally in love with because um, it's just honestly it's a high-end brush it's not made in the country um, I'm excited to be able to say that I'm a distributor for these brushes they're called Klingon brushes Klingon. they're handmade <laughs> over in Holland oh. and um, they are actually self-cleaning they're considered a wet brush so I'll show you how to use them if anybody wants to get one but I have a shipment coming in, and if anybody's interested, You're I tonight right? I did tonight I did something because I had so many people reach out um, that if you want to get order one for a pre-order, just go on to our website at junkmonkeypaint.com, uh, search the word Klingon. Can you see that C L I N G? Not K. Yeah, not like the Star Trek, <laughs> uh, but that would be cool too. Not <laughs> Don Ross. <laughs> And uh, you can go ahead and order one if you want and be one of the first to get one. But they're awesome because they really, really fill up. Like, your brush gets loaded, yeah. right? So you're able to do just some really nice yeah. painting with We're it. We're doing nice pre-orders. We're doing pre-orders because they are a handmade brush. Yeah, they're kind And of they can only make so many at a time. So, anyways, what size is that one? Two inch? This one, yeah. Is it two inch? I think it's 1.5 or two. 1.5 or two. 1 .5. Are you going, going to carry all shapes and sizes? Eventually. But I'm going to start with my favorite one, which is this one. Yeah. 
So we're... I think this is the perfect size, right? Like it gets confusing when there you have so much to pick from. But I will tell you, after painting, there are like you don't want to use a brush that's gigantic, right? And so um, just after experimenting, I'm going to pull out first with my favorite one. And if anybody wants to give it a shot, you can try it too, right? But they're awesome. Awesome. What is the number on that one? That means 20? Uh, I think it's a 40. 40. Yeah. There 40. Go. It's 40. Yep. So yeah, every, everybody's like coming it. up with great movies like Wally and like what? Oh, Drop Wally. Dead Fred. I never actually Don't saw Drop one. Dead Fred, to be honest with you. Right. Uh, show us your brush. They want to see it up close and personal. Can you see it? Well, no, you're like you're like too up close and personal. Okay. So it's really nice and thick. Can you see that? Yeah. It loads really okay. nice and gives you a really nice scrumptious finish. Like it just, it's really and with this paint as well, it's just really really. You should show them the smooth. weird angle brush. Yeah, right. You, you couldn't figure that. We we're trying to figure out how to use it today. Oh my god. Yeah, not my. This this is why I'm not putting tons of brushes up. We're gonna go with one that you actually need, and you don't need a ton of stuff to be able to have nice finishes for your pieces, and you don't need all the brushes, right? Right, right, right. Right. Oh, I right. love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, anyways. Are you gonna do your uh, giveaway tonight? You're around. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, box. yeah, yeah. What day? What's today's day? <laughs> what what the, what day number is it? What what? It's day eight. Do you ever use hair conditioner on your brushes after you clean them? Hair conditioners. Yeah. Hair conditioners. Yeah. Hair conditioner. Yeah, hair conditioner. I have not. I don't use anything that's oily, right? So, mm -hmm. like for me, I have a special brush cleaner. It's called um, a Little White Lie, and those are on our uh, page as well. It conditions, um, but also cleans, right? So it's a brush specialty cleaner. But I just be careful of using too much stuff for your brushes that um, have oils in them, right? Because oils repel, and so it just can cause you some problems with your brushes. Can you do on ceramic pots one day? Yeah, we we, sure we have some videos where we worked on some ceramic pots, right? Yep. Oh, Wendy's checking in from Miramichi. Oh, hey, how are you? Yeah. So, anyways, um. You're gonna tell me about your your. Oh, the giveaway! Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, yeah, thank box me later, mystery. okay? Just thank me later for reminding Matt about his own giveaway. All right. So, super happy mega ultra fun time, happy <laughs> mystery giveaway. All right. So I'm going back to my Japan days there. Sounds fabulous. So if you want to get in on the super happy mega fun time ultra mystery box mm -hmm. giveaway, you got it. Share it. Then comment, share below, and I will pick one super happy fun time mega ultra winner at the end of the show. There you go. There you go. All so. right. Sounds good to me. Absolutely. What do you guys... Oh, I forgot to take my before photo again. You guys should have told me. Why How didn't you do tell they know? Me? They can't read your mind. Oh, they should know me by now. Come on. Oh. You know, I always miss a spot. You guys know that, right? I always miss a spot. And I always forget to take my before photo because I'm so excited to actually get to paint a piece, all right? Yeah. Now, if you could see this in, with your own eyes and be here, it would be this pretty misty aqua, okay? It's just really, really pretty, pretty blue, light blue color. But it's a kid's, right? So I was thinking maybe <laughs> like lavender or an aqua, but I decided to go this way. Yeah, unfortunately, the... Um, oh, believe me, you live in, if you lived in Japan for any amount of time... You can combine any number of words and repeat them exactly the same way three times or more. It's just the way it goes, right? Right. So, anyways, uh, do you prefer this brush for just the milk paint or for other? No, you can use it for other as well. So, like, I, I of course, my, so this is like, I kind of have two brushes that I go to. Hmm. It's going to be my Chevy chip brush when I'm doing really distressed looks, right? So, you guys hmm. know I do a ton of distressed style furniture and I love my Chevy chip brush. I love my stencils using it. So that's never gonna go away, right? But the cool thing is, this brush that I have stumbled upon, you all right? I don't know. What was that? It was an itch. Man, it you had, had to, to go scratched. after it. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, there's nothing worse when you had an itch you can't go to. But uh, this brush here is really nice because it loads well. So you could use this with a, 
basically any water-based pain is what it would be really good for, right? So yes, our chocolate Chris style said she, uh, and our milk paint. Chris said she started uh, painting the set for The Wizard of Oz. It's that time of the year. It's uh, high school musical yes, time. Yes, right? Yes. So, anyways, Lori said she just pre-ordered her brush. Nice. There you so, go. Did yeah. you use Ultra Bond on this one? No, nope, we did not. We're gonna go with it. We're so. gonna see what it's gonna turn out right. Like, yeah, I right? saw I saw the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice comment. Um, can you believe they're remaking that movie without Michael Keaton? How terrible is that? So I never saw Beetlejuice. No, you're 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 a weirdo. Really? Yeah. Is it good? Uh, Maria, the color is what was it? White and. Uh, this was actually it's a color called thick cream. Thick cream. And sea, sea glass. glass mixed together. Sea glass is a super yeah. popular color. You guys are already. Mm -hmm. Just seeing um, what you guys are putting into your carts on my end as we ship and pack. Right. And you guys are loving that sea glass color. So all I did is just took a little bit of it and I put some of the thick cream, which is basically an off-white. Well, welcome, And I just Paulette. mellowed it out. <laughs> Everybody's going, what? You've never seen it? I have not seen Beetlejuice. Yeah. Should I go watch it tonight when I go home? Yeah. Tell me. We... <gasps> oh, no, it's Friday night. Uh -oh. You know what Friday night is, right? Oh, God. Thanks for reminding me, guys. Yeah, Laura, we'll get to the drips on the arm here in one second. Well, we're working our way around there. We're working our way around. So, I actually, we, we, we knew it was going to be there, and we're just leaving it because I, I, can oh, feel, just, I can feel the anxiety building up from looking at those two drips. Boop! Uh, why'd you do that? There you go. I wanted them to be uh, quivering with anticipation. All right, Thank okay. You. That's evil like that. See? Have you, you tried mixing I'm like, you know, good cop, paint. he's bad yeah. cop, right? You yeah. see how nice I was? I got that drip for you. I did not make you wait and die. And he was like, oh, no, just let him, just let him be. Yeah, that's right. See? Let them burn. Yes, right? <laughs> so anyway, I got you back. I got you back. So what's everybody getting into this weekend? Do drops really matter with milk paint? No, it depends on what, no. what you're looking for. So. No. I'm going to stress style, right? So... Yeah. I have plenty of time to work my way around to catch any drips, but I will tell you that, I mean, I don't get all crazy about them because when I go to do some distressing, I can just knock them off at that point or distress over that area, you know, to make them part of the piece. Yeah. Now, just think about the cast and crew of that movie. What movie? Beetlejuice. Yeah. You think uh, the guy that played Otto, Otto died, um, Jeffrey Rush went to prison, um... Alec Baldwin, uh, Alec Baldwin had a career. Michael, uh, Michael uh, Keaton had a career, but Winona went crazy, and the mom went crazy too. So I think like the whole cast was kind of. It was it was one of those movies where it didn't end well for most of the cast, right? So just now I gotta watch it just stuff. to see that, right? Right. Yeah. Painting, eating, drinking, paint again. Oh, nice! So, you guys, I love it when you guys send pictures. So, you know what I found out Please the other post day, it to and I didn't, I didn't even know about it. What? Like uh, a couple months ago, it was uh, uh, what was it? I um, don't know. Oh yeah, it was the twenty fifth anniversary. Mm -hmm. Was it twenty fifth or thirty fifth anniversary? I think it was thirty fifth anniversary of Pee Wee's Big Adventure when it came out. Right, I, love I did not realize that that was Danny Elfman's first movie that he actually, uh, or Tim Burton's first movie that he actually directed. Yeah. And it was Danny Elfman's first movie that he actually scored. Isn't that crazy? Think about that. Tim Burton. Yeah. yeah. He became okay. Captain Barbosa. No, no, Jeffrey Rush, not, uh, um, not, um, um, Jeffrey. Uh, I know who you're talking about. I'm talking about the redhead guy. Um, yeah, Jeffrey. No. What was it? Now I'm going to drive nuts because I got it wrong. Um, oh, what? Oh. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Where is Google? Somebody Google it. Katie said she was like, she was taking pallets apart to put <laughs> up on the wall of the bathroom. Oh, been there, done that. Yeah, it's not a hard, lot of work. I'm telling you. I am telling you, you kind of got to take those pictures of pallets uh, in places with a grain of salt, right? Because you know how much work goes into them. Yeah, Tess, uh, Tess I watched them in Schitt's Creek, but both of them did time in a mental ward for a little bit. Holy moly, who are we yeah. talking about now? That was uh, the mom from Beetlejuice is in Schitt's Creek. She was oh, mom. Oh, okay. And then... Uh, um, 
Uh, gosh, I would, Jeffrey, I can't think of his name now. don't know. He was the principal in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That was a good movie. Yeah. I like so that So there movie. you go. Speaking of Jeffrey, I haven't had any calls from Jeffrey Draft lately. It's because I changed <laughs> cell phone numbers. Well, no, they're out of business. Oh, I did see that too. That probably yeah. didn't help. Poor Jeffrey. Now I feel yeah. bad. So, guys, funny story. Um, you know how when Toys R Us, I mean, Toys R Us are still around, right? They're not right. like completely gone yet. Well, most of them, they're just phasing out slowly. Well, you know how you go to uh, Toys R Us and they have you at the very, you know, at the beginning, you know, Jeffrey, sign up and, you know, Jeffrey will send your kid a. Uh, a birthday message on their birthday well somebody must have had a, a number that was very similar to mine <laughs> Jeffrey the giraffe has called me for years okay on somebody else's birthday <laughs> but it was always fun because I could always every year he would message me and be like hey Sonia it's somebody's birthday right Jeffrey Jones that was it thank you for getting that that was gonna drive Jeffrey me the up. giraffe is better I was getting ready to turn this off and we can google it go google it <laughs> but yeah that was so my Jeffrey, Jeffrey Jones. giraffe no, Jeffrey Jones didn't die. He he got busted. I'd have to for, look up even who that good. is. So. People were like talking Dutch. That's 80s, man. 80s. This is good times. <laughs> so. Good times. What do you guys think? Let's put a little bit more paint on over here. Oh, there goes the alarm. Yeah. So, anyways. Never a good thing. Oh, um, all right. Ooh, it's sticking on. The difference between chalk paint and milk paint. Go! Are you pulling the audience? No, I'm pulling you. Okay, all right. Difference between milk paint and chalk paint. Where should I begin? Well, somebody's asking because they want to get one. Okay, let me tell you the difference. Well, milk paint is the awesome paint that especially if you love chippy and distressed that you're going to love to work with because you can do all kinds of funness with it because it's the only paint that chips, okay? It actually yeah. literally chips. It comes in powder form. If you wanna see what chippiness, what I mean, when it actually does it on its own, go back to a couple nights ago. Who was on here when we did that yellow mustard pickles table, right? Totally fell off and you don't even touch it, it happens. So the more shinier your surface, the more the chippiness stop. that you're gonna get, okay? I gotta stop you. Why? Um, people are going, is that a tornado alarm? We, we did have a tornado, uh, the Not other night, here. Down in Uniontown, about Probably. 30 minutes from here. But um, just to let you know that uh, we have a very zealous fire department here. <laughs> they are they are on the job for everything. That's so awesome. They are. Um, so you, uh, if you've been like with us over the years, you probably heard that alarm go off more than that more than enough but uh, the reason why it's going off so much is because we had lots of flooding Loyal Hannah yeah. Creek's out actually those of you that are familiar with Idlewild in Storybook Forest the brand new castle in Storybook Forest was underwater today so that'll let you know how high uh, the water is uh, this is very unusual flooding doesn't usually happen here so anyways we got lots of rain right can you but anyway, to, to continue on, oh, yeah, so yeah, sorry. the milk paint comes in a powder form. Our chalky style paint comes in a pre-made form, right? It's the no priming, no sanding, no stripping. It pretty much sticks to everything under the sun, right? Mm -hmm. um, the milk paint is a little bit more unpredictable, right? It's a little bit more of a peculiar kind of paint, okay? A specialty paint. And what it does is it dries to a dead, flat, matte look. And it's literally made just like, um, you know, uh, people would make paint back in colonial times and even earlier, back into the days of even when they would go ahead and they draw pictures on caves, right? It's made with milk solids and with earth, earth pigments and clay. And that's what makes it up and that's why it's all natural. And so what happens is it comes in a powder form and like this. For those of you who are familiar with our chalky style paint, you'll know that a package of this goes the same distance as one of the cans as well. So we always say like one standard size piece of furniture to one pouch, okay? So I'm gonna be able to get a bunch of these out of one pouch, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you just go to town with it. You mix it half and half. That's pretty much the rule of thumb, but just know that you can make it to your own consistency. Um, just add as much water as you want to your actual paint powder, and it's so easy. Katie Reed said she sold the red desk today. You did? Oh yeah. my goodness, that makes me happy. Yeah. I gotta check up on some things here. Yay! Uh, Tess, uh, yeah, it's funny, we got flooding here, but we're on top of the mountain, so it's unusual to have flooding on top of the mountain. Well, so, uh, 
Minute. Tess Acid. said kids got stuck in flood water and Acme in the car had to send in water rescue. What? Let me guess, it was at Acme Dam Road. Correct what? me if I'm wrong. They probably thought they were going to be funny. So anyway, oh, that's scary. It, uh, that's what I'm guessing. It might be another place, but All right, let's see either that or uh, down at uh, Jacobs Creek down there at the, the falls. So, Who else is getting rain where you guys are? Are you using your wet brush tonight? I no am. To know. I am. So. I'm just kind of like, I put my one layer on. I'm going for the distress style. Of course, you guys know me mm -hmm. well. Um, so what I do is <laughs> when I put on my second coat, I'm not worried about getting an all over second coat. I'm kind of just more or less pouncing it on in areas because when I do distressing, that kind of model just, I don't know, just that sort of look where it's dark on some places, lighter on the other. I just feel like it gives it lots of dimension for the look I'm trying to go for. So I'm just kind of like filling in some areas that might need a little bit more paint. But other than that, I'm not going to worry about it. What do you guys think so far? What do you think so far? Isn't it going to be so nice with some distressing? You, so, Nikki, you got it. Uh, she says if you can use the extra balm with the milk paint, can yep. you treat it like chalk paint? Totally. Exactly. Yep. You, exactly right. Except it's completely all natural. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my brush in here. So one of the really cool things about this brush is that it's self-cleaning, and it's made in a way that the paint actually falls off of it, so it doesn't all like gunk up. So what you're supposed to do is put it in water and suspend it. Now, of course, this is... I'd rinse it before I let it sit again, um, but what you would actually do is suspend it, and I'll show you a trick once once we get some time here oh, to be yeah. able to suspend it, well, and that way you. it doesn't um, you know, kind of crush the bottom of your, your paintbrush here, but what happens is, like seriously guys, it just literally, do you see how nice that is, all that paint that was on there, it just, it just runs off of it, right, so I'd throw this out. And then let this sit again until it's ready to go. But this is uh, rust proof. I mean, unless you scratch it or something like that. Um, so it's one of those brushes that you get and you keep with yourself, like with your toolkit as a, you know, a furniture painter. Um, and you begin to love it. So like this is the only brush that I have in this style. And it's my go-to. I love it so She's done much. lost her mind with that brush. I love that brush, right? Yeah. All right, let me dry this because we're going to do some distressing. So don't be in distress. Let's just do this. But yeah, okay, so what's everybody else doing this weekend? I need some ideas. So, anyways, I'm catching up with some Everybody's chatty Kathy tonight. That's good. We'll Katie that. said everyone complained I didn't sell a chair with the desk. And I said, when you buy a desk from the store, does it come with a chair? <laughs> yeah, right? You, can, yeah. You, you price them separately. Absolutely. Yeah. You can totally do that. That's one thing I've learned. I've got to say, guys, is that... Back in the day, like people used to have big, big sets of furniture. Yeah. Not anymore, right? Everybody's so space challenged. And so, you know, there are times when for me as a furniture buyer, I could be going into somebody's house and they're like, you could take all of it for this amount of dollars. Um, but in my mind, I'm just going to kind of take the pieces that I feel that my customers are going to need because nowadays, I mean, they don't need the vanity and the big dresser and the high stand and the two end stands and the whole bed frame. Who's got space for all of that, right? So, anyways. So, uh, yeah, let people pick their pieces. Totally. Katie wants to know, would the brush mold after a while? No, because it's a... Uh, no. It's a uh, synthetic brush hair. Yep. And you can dry it off after you wash it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's but, awesome. uh, but it's actually meant to be... It's made to be suspended. They're handmade. Um by a creator in Holland. Yeah, uh, Cindy, cool. they're a handmade brush that, uh, uh, they're a handmade Klingon brush and we are having one for pre-order now. They're uh, on their way. They're on their way from Holland. Like we said, they're a handmade brush, so they're a little bit uh, hard to get a hold of, so that's why we're doing a pre-order. We don't usually do pre-orders with our yeah. stuff. So I've many of you guys have messaged yeah. us that I just wanted to go ahead and set it up. So that way I don't lose your email. So if you truly want to get one, you can go ahead and uh, you'll get a receipt for it. And then it'll it'll say right on it that it will ship probably in about two weeks or so. Honestly, as soon as I get them, I'm just going to ship them out the next day. So so if you're patient, but you can get uh, one that's in the first lot that's coming, coming to Ligonier. So, um, yeah, the brush to go to the site, pre-order it. And then after that, we're going to order some more. Yep. We just... Uh, yeah. 
we just got to uh, wait for them to get more made. Yeah. So. I actually didn't realize how popular they would be. Everybody's like messaging yeah. us saying you want one. So yeah. if you want to yeah, get a name on the first the, batch. Yeah, we're only one, one of, of a few. couple people yeah. in the U.S. that, that we're carrying it. So, anyway. so everybody's having good memories about this rocking chair. Really? This like is, what? Tell this us. This is taking people. It's getting oh, them in the way, here. way back machine. Come here. Come here. Yep. You see what's going down over here, people? As this dries. Chipping. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. You see that? That's the coolness, right? You guys know if you've used chalky style paint, this is just my fingers. I'm not even taking a sand pad to that. Our chalky style paint doesn't do that, right? You would totally distress it. And you could get, you know, you could get distress marks, but you can't get this sort of look. This is more authentic. So if you love this look, oh, man. You can see it's all starting back here as well. Can you see that, guys? This is my finger. So you never know where it's going to be, like where in terms of the chippiness is going to happen. Oh, I know. But you can begin to start to look for it and see signs of it. Right. Yay! Oh, down here. Oh, I love that. Look at that. You see this? Come here. You see this chippiness that's happening right here? Love that right there. Do you see that? Cool. So, uh, send the before and afters of the chair too. Yes. Monkey paint at gmail so dot com. So awesome. So, anyway. Rob. Yeah, I mean. Oh, Rob. I had one of those chairs when I was a kid. Which reminds me of the Princess Bride. Rob. Well, I said how much I love these guys for doing that. Two, like, Rob. Yeah, right. Who loves the Princess Bride? Right. One of those movies that you absolutely. I'm sorry, but if you miss the Princess Bride, you need to go watch it. What's the, what's the guy's name? My name is... Is it something Montoya? What was yeah, this? I can't remember what it is. Prepared to die. What was, was the Mandy, thing that he used to that say? That was Mandy Pink in it. Mandy uh, Pink. You killed my father. Is it, what is yeah. it? You killed my father yeah, prepared, prepared to die? Yeah, yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I probably totally butchered that, but anyway. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Nancy. What's Nancy saying? Nancy said her younger brother had a little rocket like this. He passed away last year. Aww. Yep, it's amazing how things can trigger memories, right? Music is amazing like that, too. Anybody else <laughs> agree that you can be totally transported back in time when you Juan hear a Rios. song? It would just remind me of a great line from that movie. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. Right? <laughs> That's debatable. Oh, you're so bad. <laughs> so bad. But yeah, that was good, right? That was so good. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a sand block now, guys. Because what happens when you take the sand block out, when you find your sand block, is that you do some distressing, but it automatically find, will find those parts that already want to chip in distress, right? So we're going to go all over it. Oh, look. You hey, see Laura, right here? how are you? Love that. Hey, Laura. Just to let you know, if I miss any questions or anything like that, I'm sorry. There's a lot going on. Well, you're a big meanie. I am. Big meanie. Yeah, there it is. My name is In Inigo yes. In Montoya. Yeah. You killed my father. Pretty good. Yeah, good guy. Yes. Yeah, so good. Guys, what do you think? Right? You're getting it? You're getting it? You love it? What? Heck yeah. Oh, look at the seat. See, I can't do that with a chalky style paint, right? This is why we wanted to make this line available to you because as a shabby painter, this is pure yumminess right here. This is like authentic, pure yumminess. <laughs> Inconceivable! Oh, yes! But I forgot about him, too. Never challenge a Sicilian to a battle of wits. That's right. Oh, man. <laughs> so I got good memories of that movie. I like that movie. Totally love that movie. Was everybody, did everybody watch E.T.? Was that a good movie for you uh, guys, too? Oh, don't bring up E.T. Why? Uh, Why? E.T.'s good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? Well, I like that meme that goes around that says, you know, Mom, don't worry if you don't have it all together. Because remember that mom in E.T.? She never even knew there was an alien living in her kid's closet for how long, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we need to give ourselves a little bit of a break. All right, let's go ahead and give a little bit of this dressing over here. On the back. Ooh, got some crackle going on. Yeah, right there. you keep using that word. I don't think you know. It means what you think it means. <laughs> what? That was from Princess Bride. Oh, oh, oh. See, I missed that part. Okay, there you go. Phone homes. What is it? E.T. Phone homes. E.T. Elliot! 
Yeah. Fast times get reached my high. That was more Listen. my speed. One of my favorite movies, of course, was my favorite all time movie. Yeah. And I say it all the time. Is Better Off Dead with yes. John Cusack, Curtis Armstrong. I want my two dollars. Yeah, I was, those movies, uh, Mowage. Wow. Woo, wow. So, anyway. Uh, Better Off Dead, One Crazy Summer, All the Se Savvy Steve Hollis, Revenge of the Nerds. Love Revenge of the Nerds. Uh, just off the top of my head, Night of the Creeps, My Science Project, all this. So, it was funny, you know, Night of the Creeps is one of, uh, me and uh, Sean and Shane's favorite movies, right? Uh -huh. And it's funny, Sean worked on the remake called Slither 20 years after the fact. So. You don't really know. Goonies, Goonies. Oh, yeah, Goonies, yes. Somebody yes. put Ghost. You know, yes. Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink. Yes. Yeah, all the... Uh, um, we were doing it. We were doing Ghost last night, weren't we? Um, Remember that? Yeah. Yes. Not intentionally. It was scary. When yes. will you have milk paint and turquoise? You can mix it. In what? It. Turquoise? Yeah, the um, yeah, sea glass is kind of turquoise. Um, you could add a little bit of white to it. Not as much white as we did. Animal House. Porky's was another series, too. All right. Which was a that. good one. All right. All right. Get some chickiness off of there. The sand lot, yeah. These are awesome brushes, guys. These are the uh, mason brush. But of course. I used for just kind of getting off any dust. <laughs> Nancy said, I used to tell my kids ET phone home to ET remind them to call phone. me. Yeah, right. Tremors, yeah, there you go. Oh, that was good. Ferris See, I Bueller's told you, I love those kind of things. Yeah, the, the Brat Pack from uh, yes. Ferris Bueller. Um, yes. But then you get into my favorite genre movies, the, the Nightmare on Elm Street, the so Friday the 13th. Yeah. I wasn't a big Halloween fan, even though Halloween started that whole thing, but yeah. I was a uh, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street fan. Lost Boys, yes. That was good, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to see that. Dirty Dancing, there you go. Son. Yeah, there you go. That was good. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah. Absolutely. Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. You know, I used to do that with my rifle in the Marine Corps. Really? Right? Yeah. No, no, no. When Listen. somebody would move my 203, I'm like, nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> there you go. See? It spans the uh, genders. Yeah. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm totally thinking about putting a stencil right here. Right here, okay? But now, I don't, did I tell you this? It was a funny comment this morning. Oh, funny yeah, yeah, comment yeah, yeah, this morning. Yeah, yeah. This so, out. this is what I so, love yeah. about social media, right? So, I get up this morning and um, it alerts me that I have some messages. So, I like to read my messages. And there was a lady who watched our live. Remember, we did the chair, you know, the pink chair, right? With the, yeah. with the uh, stencil on the, on yeah, the yeah, bum yeah. Bum. yeah. And so, you know what I'm talking about, right, guys? Yeah. And so, anyway, she had commented on this. And I speak of her in the past because you know what? We just did the ban and delete and like sent her on her way. But uh, she posted and she said, my God, that looks hideous. You use your stencils too forcefully. And I sat there trying to figure out what that actually even meant. Does anybody know how you can forcefully use a stencil? I mean, I'm thinking, well, I mean, am I holding them against their will? I mean, I haven't handcuffed at anyone lately. I don't feed them bread and water. Like, so if anybody can shed some light on what you forcefully use stencils actually mean, I, let me know, okay? Let me know. But anyway, so I don't know. Maybe we're doing this right now. Are we forcefully using a stencil? Don't know. But we're going to go with it, okay? Right. We're going to go with it. We're, I got a couple things here. <laughs> I got a couple things here. All right, real quick. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, black velvet chalky style paint, okay? This is the Mr. Pickles, the stuff with the muscles, the pre-mixed. You guys know in, in the little paint cans, right? So you're being too forceful with your stencil. Am I being too forceful with my stencil? All tell right. me. Tell me. me friends see. tell uh, friends, okay? So you don't have to put the, on the chippy stuff to get that effect. Uh, on certain... Uh, on certain uh, raw woods mm -hmm. and uh, poor surfaces you do, okay? Yep. Uh, Matt, could you do the dirty dancing with? <laughs> Let me tell you something. In my... Oh, uh, babe, could you do that? I Listen, could do... I that could, could totally be us if we didn't like tacos too much. Well, then again, I mean, even... In, you know, right? Yeah, that was until I hurt my... had my last leg injury. I could probably... <laughs> I could probably lift half the page on here. Oh my lord! So. We'll give it a shot though. Uh, Gala says we'll the wax you know is goes. sold out on the site. Yeah, 
doing it, guys? We have wax. Holy moly, we do. But you know what? Maybe without it. looking at it right now, maybe tonight you just because guys broke the wax. But there's more um, that we're going to be filling to put on there. So stay tuned. I'll check it when I get done. Yeah, I think we might have some. Let me see here. Oh. Ready to go out to you guys. Oh. Um, all right, let me go ahead and continue this. By the way, what I'm doing is just using my shabby chip brush. I want a distressed effect on my stencil to match with the distressed overall effect of my chair. So I'm forcefully um, <laughs> applying the stencil. Yeah. yeah, instead of dab, 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 we're going to do ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, you're hurting me. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, okay. so there we go. We're going to keep going. Yeah, when I hear people say that, you know, pretentious stuff like that, I want to wave with them in the crick. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then I want to I I dunk them. Dunk a donut. And kind of hold them there until the bubbles stop. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely get some weird comments. You guys ready? <laughs> you ready? Ta-da! All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. I forcefully use my stencil to go ahead yes. and take a look and see. I think that I think that stencil is going to file a, a grievance. Abuse. Yeah, they're going to get you for harassment and abuse. Right. So, yes. Force, force, force. I know. Right I know. It's terrible. Okay, pull it back so, so they can see the overall view. Look at it. I'm going to distress it a little bit, okay? I'm going to distress it. Maybe that's what they were talking about. How do you clean a wax brush? With distress. With uh, the big fat white lye soap. Yep. So, anyways. Oh, look, it's wax. Anyways, I'm going there. So, anyways. You got any black glaze in the store? We for always tomorrow. have it. Tomorrow. If you ever need anything for you guys that are local, just email us. Um, give us a day ahead of time and let us know that you're coming because what happens is everything we do is handmade and we're constantly packing yes. and shipping. So we make our product. I would be here. more than happy to make some and have it ready for you, but just give me a heads up, okay? So yes, we do have can it. Can you use just make sure you any me. paint with the stencil like the color paint? Can you use any paint? You can, but yeah. I will tell you something. A lot of the reason why a lot of you guys have bleed through is because your paint is very runny and thin, okay? If you've used our chalky style paint, you know that it ain't thin so what happens is you can control it more right you can do a better job with your stenciling oh i love that all right what do you so guys think so we do have vintage white at the store and the crown glaze right yep it'll be there it's here for tomorrow yep so if you're but coming you tomorrow if you ever need it for sure. yeah that if way you don't you, come in because if i'm yeah. out and we don't have any on the shelf if i'm here i can make it right Okay. But uh, we're gonna re we're gonna go look at the uh, wax. wax stocks and make okay. sure that uh, uh, we're gonna go look at it and then we're gonna restock it online. Yep. We have a new shipment coming this week uh, as far as materials to make, so um, we'll have it all ready to go once I get my lab. <laughs> you lab rat, you. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Should I wax it? You guys know when we wax, we bring it to life, all right? We revive it. Tess said she's coming unless it snows tomorrow. Is it going to snow tomorrow? Yeah. That's Pennsylvania. It's going to snow tomorrow. It's, uh, all right. Rained all weekend, flooded, snow tomorrow, tornado yesterday, thunderstorm. <laughs> and then it's going to be 71 on Tuesday. Now that you so, say that, you're yeah. absolutely right. We did have, yeah, all those things. Dang it. All right, so what I'm doing is doing my wax on. This is where I take my brush and I just, you know, go all over with it with the wax. And then once it's done, the other cool thing is when you do this part, when you're kind of rubbing and buffing, if there's any other chippiness that wants to come off, it's going to fall off too, right? Uh, Teresa just placed an order and prepaid for a brush. You can hold it all until the brush is gone. Okay, sounds Thank you. good. Yeah, we'll send me a message too, right? Yeah. So we have it. Yeah, just send. Yeah, absolutely. I drove two hours just to see there as they had paint ready for me, plus some more amazing color. Okay. Good. I thought I was started reading that, and I started getting nervous, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, I know Elizabeth. I'll yeah. be honest with you. I was getting nervous. I'm like, oh, let me guess. We were sold Elizabeth out. Elizabeth made a special trip to so see us. So you shouldn't layer two colors of milk paint. You should absolutely yeah, layer two colors. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Who wants to layer two colors tomorrow night? Give me a yes if we should do two colors tomorrow yeah. night. Just for fun and see what happens right before our eyes. So remember, wax on. And you're going to do your wax off, right? Get that residue off the top. Push it into the wood pores. And it leaves you with a beautiful, just silky smooth finish. 
I love this. But if you did not want this, Chippy, right? We're doing an experimentation. I did not hold it back with any bond. But if you did not want to have this chip so much, just add your extra bond at the time that you are mixing your paint, okay? That's mix, all. Mix, 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 yep. mix. Uh, and tomorrow night we'll use that because if we're going to layer some paint, we'll put a layer down, we'll use the bond, we'll make sure it sticks on really well, and then maybe use a little bit of chippy hippie juice and uh, do our second layer of paint and make the second layer, right? So that way you're exposing the bottom layer. I know a lot of you guys uh, like to paint like that. Uh, I haven't messaged me. <laughs> okay. Uh, my son messaged me. He was out being a rock star today. He was out playing in his band. So, anyway. Alright. Yep, I'm the mom of a rock star. Uh, nice yeah. I'm proud of my son. He, he wrote, and, you know, him and his friends wrote an album. Yeah, they just released their first CD. They just CD. got released it. And not, not, not only that, on iTunes Music, it was on the front page of uh, new releases with big bands, which is pretty amazing. So the uh, staff at iTunes rated it pretty high. That's nice. Proud Papa. Proud mama. I don't know what I was doing when I was 17 years old. I can I tell you what it was. I was doing my first album. I can tell you what it was, and it was probably... Do I uh, want to know? Probably illegal. <laughs> <laughs> probably morally questionable. Oh, poor Matt. Yes. Thank goodness I was able to come into his life and set him straight. Rob, what's your question? I get a lot of questions, so if I missed your question, I may have been out uh, of Call her out again. Does wax dry and stay safe to sit on? Yes. yes. Yes, it does. Yes. So what happens is wax uh, sucks into the pores, right? So, but if you ever have a piece that you really want to make sure that maybe you're not going for that chippy distress look, but you want more of an all-over coverage look, just make sure you use um, a sealer like maybe a polyacrylic, okay? Because it's going to have hardeners in it that will set up where not only does the poly go into your wood, but it also creates a layer of protection over the top, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas wax goes <laughs> down into your piece and you buff off any top of the any of the uh, residue that might be on the top, right? Okay. The brushes are on their way from Holland as we speak. Hi. It'll take about a week. Isn't that weird? To two weeks. All Everybody right. wants to know Riley's band name. Oh, his, yeah. his band name is called Jen, as in J E N. Listen, guys. Yeah. If, the band. If they wake up tomorrow morning and they see like <laughs> they picked up two followers, they'll probably like, they'll oh be, yeah, man. Be like, oh yeah. yeah. Don't tell it. Yeah, they're called uh, Jen the Band. That's J E N the Band. They're on so, Facebook, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the album sounds like like these kids are 17, but most of the album sells, sounds like something the Doors or the Velvet Underground did back in the 60s. There you go. The what lead track sounds like modern alternative, but uh, I love it's it. pretty pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, we're pretty proud of them, right? Uh, the, Creativity comes the in album, all forms. The album's called Teenage Quality, believe it or not. Yep. So, Heck yeah. They played at uh, Connellsville's Got Talent um, a couple weeks ago, so that was pretty cool to see them do that. Yeah. You know, when you think about when you were like back to like 16, 17, 18 years old and maybe you weren't, you know, the most, especially being in senior high, you know, getting on stage in front of your peers and stuff like that, so I think that's pretty admirable. Are they on Facebook? I don't know. Because yeah, they're on Facebook. They keep telling me Facebook is lame. Oh, well, they're definitely on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, they're on it's, Facebook. Yeah. They are. I don't know how active. I know they're active on Instagram. All right. Ta-da. I'm going to call her done. What do you think? What do you think? Looks what good. Do you think? Looks good. What do you think? Looks good. All right. Let's do our last round of sharing before we go ahead and we hoot and holler and uh, name somebody a winner of Matt's mystery box. Uh, I see Rob doesn't get it. Rob says that's the finished product. Yep, Rob. Yeah, it's called. You got it. It's called. It's called the chippy look. The chippy look. The chippy look. All right, there we go. So. All yeah. right. All right, uh, Cheryl. Let me go back. Uh, so let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let's go and back to the beginning. Okay. Go back to the beginning and find a share. Oh, I saw a share. I saw Janice Cooper. Ooh. Janice, if you're on here, give me a holler. Janice Cooper, you are the receiver of the super ultra mega happy fun time mystery box. Dang, sounds serious. Janice sounds Cooper. Sounds serious to me. <laughs> Lori Allen. Uh, What's that? This is the best comment ever. Lori Allen. 
<laughs> okay, we're not going to say anything out loud. <laughs> what the heck was That's that? That's the Revenge of Nerds laugh. Okay, alright, just making sure. I love it, right? Love it, love it, You can pre-order the me. brush on the uh, website. Yeah. So, when it will be in. Um, we're looking at restocking. Is. We're going to look at the website now and see what the orders are. And we're going to restock the wax here, okay? So, Janice, Cooper, sure, cool. I need you to answer up or I'm going to have to pick somebody else. Janice right. Cooper. So, imagine Janice a little Cooper. one with their little cozy blanket mm -hmm. and already in a pillow. You know what? These small chairs, guys, if you're out and about and you have little ones in your life, that pick some the, up. What's that? Move out of the, uh, out of the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, pick some up because... These actually make really, really cute gifts. I mean, if you can give gifts that people can use, like, so think of the little ones, put it like, you know, I don't know, give it, do a gift pack with it, like maybe a really cool uh, pack of books that, you know, some soft cloth books or some regular books that kids would like, a couple toys, put a big bow on it, put a really cute blanket onto it, you know what I mean? Or maybe even a pillow. And then you've got like, seriously, you've got like a care package to bring to somebody that will absolutely love it, right? So then when they're watching like Monsters, Inc. and all those shows, they can enjoy themselves and make good memories just like you had, too. So, yay! Tanislano, I'd ask the same of you. If you don't like it, there's the door. Actually, there's the big X in the corner. Yeah, so anyway. Man, Riley's going to be famous. Uh, it's Jen the Band. It's Jen the Band. <laughs> okay. Making a 17-year-old's kid's, uh, kid's dream. Okay, uh, Janice, what you do yes. is send us a message. Yes. At junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Yes. With your address. Yep. And we will send you the Super Happy Mega Ultra Fun Time. What he said. Box he said. of Mystery. All right, so tomorrow night, be here, be square, same time, same back cave, or maybe thereabouts, okay? Tomorrow evening. By the way, for those of you who keep messaging saying, how do I get live notifications? Hopefully a whole bunch of you have, half of you guys have pretty much signed up. The other half hasn't just yet, okay? So just to let you know, what you do is you go to Junk Monkey Paint Company right here on our webpage. There is a button at the top. Hit send message and put the word live into it. You're automatically subscribed to any notes that we stand out in terms of any notifications, right? Like, hey, we're going live in 15 minutes. That sort of thing. So that way you don't miss right. us hanging out with yes, us, Yes, right? and everybody it's like messaging about wax right now. Yes. We are going we'll to check it you. out and we will take care of you, okay? So all right. We'll see you tomorrow. Adios. And all those of you who come to the shop, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. All right. Bye, all right. guys. Thanks for... Oh, there goes the ding-dong of the bell, right? What? Uh, the bell. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, time yeah. to go. All right, see ya. Story time is over.